Hello and welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika and today we have a really fun project to make. We're making a gel to powder eyeshadow. Um, it's, it's really a sensory object. It's really fun. Um, if you've been to uh, an Ulta lately, I'm sure that you've seen all the samples of the different gel to powders. Um, they're the ones where you can touch it and it kind of squishes, but it goes on your skin like a powder. That's what we're doing here. So um, let's get started. You'll need a few things, of course. Um, gloves, unless you like your hands to be colored um, with whatever color you choose to make your eyeshadow. Gloves are important, plus they also help when you're getting ready to pack off your um, eyeshadow. Uh, what I chose for my color today, it's a rosy beige pigment and golden fields pigment. So um, I combined those two and we also have a silica. We also have a little tiny bit of deionized water, dimethicone, um, vegetable glycerin, and of course we have to have a preservative, so I chose Optifen Plus for our preservative. So uh, this project is fairly easy to make. It's a little bit more tricky to put into containers, so let's just get started with the making. Um, you'll need a Cuisinart type mixer um, to make this project. I'm just going to make sure that it's put together. You also want to make sure you properly sanitize everything, um, which we have done. We use denatured alcohol to sanitize with, so we've sanitized all of our equipment to make sure that it's uh, not going to be um, contaminating our makeup. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add your powders, and you just kind of dump them right in. And we'll add our silica and put it right in there. And I'm gonna give this a quick mix before I add any liquids, just to make sure that, well, yeah, I'm gonna do that. You may experiment with this stage. You don't have to mix the powders prior. It may be interesting to you to see if you can make a swirled um, mix if you choose to go with the um, formula that, that uh, is given. Or if you want to make an alteration and just use one color, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have a, a powder explosion here. Um, it probably would be a good idea to have a dust mask as well when you're doing this. Um, for this small batch, I don't have one. If I was making this in a larger batch, I certainly would have one. Um, okay, so now we just simply add our other ingredients. We're going to add our deionized water. Just right in there. So now we're going to just add the dimethicone. Just go ahead and pour that right in there. So I spent a lot of time at Ulta experimenting with the different gel to powders and how they feel and researching the ingredients that they used and trying to make a, uh, a version of the gel to powder that has less ingredients and ingredients that are, that are just not quite as synthetic. Um, we'll go ahead and add our preservative. We'll just add all of our ingredients right now. The nice thing about this is that there's no heating involved um, it's really just mixing everything together. So I'm gonna make sure we get everything in there. And I have on the side here, I have a little bit extra deionized water and a little bit extra glycerin. You may want to play with the percentages and how saturated your mixture becomes and um, how easy it is to work with. This, this is part of the fun of research and development is that you get to experiment and play. So then I'm just going to turn the mixer on. And then I'm going to use my spatula to kind of get all of it from around the edges. And what I'm looking for, and I'll try to show you here, is I'm looking for it to compact together and hold a shape that looks more like a gel. So this is a little dry. Um, I could tell when I opened it. You'll get more, as you, as you do this, you'll get more experience and kind of see 
um, what it should look like. So we're just going to add a little bit more. I think I'm going to add a little bit more glycerin, actually. Now, if you want to reproduce your results, you're going to need to record how much additional glycerin you add. Um, for our purposes, I'm just trying to show you the right consistency, so I'm not going to record this, but certainly add or change um, to your liking. And make sure you record it. Once you write it down, it's science. That's what I learned. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just playing around. Okay, add a little bit more. I think that's probably going to be enough. And let's keep going. Okay, it's starting to look better. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. More of this kind of a texture. Okay, so that looks about right, maybe a little dry still. So we'll add, well, I don't know, actually, that looks pretty darn good. Maybe just a tiny bit more glycerin. The, the trick here is to not add so much that you get a gooey mess. So I'm going to try to prevent making a gooey mess here. Add just a little bit more glycerin. Just a little more. Okay. Put it back on and keep it. Okay, now let's see what we have here. Yeah, that's looking really good. Okay, that's what we want to see. So we press it down. It's like a gel, but it's still a powder. Okay, so now, once you have this made, you have to put it in your packaging, of course. So um, these little five gram lipstick pots are kind of cool. And you just kind of scoop it in there. And you're going to press it together so it really, really is solid and like a gel. Oh my gosh, that feels so cool. The sensory experience with this is really interesting. I really do like it. Okay. And this color, I'm so excited to use it. Okay, so, sorry about that, you might not have been able to see that entirely. hope so. Okay, so once it's in the pot, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my gloves off. Of course, I'm going to pack off more of these because it's amazing and I can't wait to use it. Okay, so once it's in the pot, then you can see once you use your makeup brush, it's this really cool gel, and when you put it on your skin, it's a really beautiful powder. It's just got a really neat feel. I don't know how I can possibly like describe to you how cool this is, but maybe if I just like show you how it kind of squishes, like you can squish your finger at it. It's definitely a gel. It feels really very much like a gel. It feels wet and cool, but goes onto your skin like a powder. And it's just, that's a really beautiful color. I'm very happy with that. I kind of am into the metallic colors lately. So there we go. And it's that easy to make. And of course, you can make your own colors. Feel free to experiment and play around. I'd love to see if you want to share any pictures of the wonderful colors you've made. I'd love to see them. Um, this was one of my favorite projects. Uh, very, very fun to research and very fun to do. Um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Um, be sure to subscribe for more great videos.